So 50-50 with a husband is insane to me personally because that's not something that I was ever told I should be doing. And guess who's worn out, who's tired, who's looking older than their age while the other gentleman is looking very, very young because all they had to do was bring in their 50. Whatever you want to call me, that's fine. Do you have money? Do you have funds? I don't care that you don't like black women. I don't care that you're going to a different country to find a woman. I wish you the best of luck. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. I've been on TikTok way too long to let anyone bully me into taking back anything that I said. So I still stand 10 toes on what I said in that video, but I turn off my comments because 500 of you were telling me that Miss Girl got married before she had her first baby. Cool. I was wrong about that. I messed up. But the part I hyperfixated on was her telling us that we should be going 50-50 with our husbands. With our husbands. Okay, because she's married, right? So 50-50 with a husband is insane to me, personally. Because that's not something that I was ever told I should be doing in my childhood, in my early years, in my upbringing. Didn't see it, didn't witness it, was not told to me, so I reject it. Okay? And I don't care where I live in the world, and I don't care what the state of the economy is. Never been there, never going to do that. It's a no-go in my books. It's not a part of my vocabulary. I'm not even curious about what it feels like. We do not care. Like, okay, you could keep that. You could keep all that. So two things. You're allowed to disagree with me. You're allowed to go 50-50 with your man if you want to. I'm not going to stop you. To me, it's crazy to go 50-50 with your husband. You don't have to agree. That's one. Two, a lot of people assume that when a woman says she's not going 50-50 with a man, it means she's not making her own money either. And I just want to clarify that I'm a hustler. Okay, I'm a go-getter. Okay, I'm not a bum. I'm always get my own money. But I will not be using it to split the bills with my husband personally me personally you do you me personally not gonna do that absolutely not that's all do you guys see what she just said right a woman who is married by the way is going 50 50 with her husband which is why she's probably married because she comes across like a caring understanding woman and how do i know that this woman right here doesn't seem caring and understanding she said herself i do not care how the economy is doing she said it clear as day so which lets you know these women left behind do not care at all right i'll admit She's beautiful. There will be some simps out there that will give her away. And this is the problem. Most women won't care. It won't change because men won't hold a standard with certain women, right? But you know what's probably happening? She's probably single. She's probably single. And this is clearly why. You can see why. Eventually gets you tired. It doesn't matter whether it's 20 years from now, five years from now. Eventually you're going to get tired. It's nice while the butterflies are still, are still running in your tummy. But later on, you come and realize that it's actually not 50-50. You're always going to put in 100 because there's more coming in life. Running of the home, the kids, taking care of this, taking care of that, while this person just brings in their 50. And then also, that same 50 that remains from their side ends up going to another woman. And guess who's worn out, who's tired, who's looking older than their age, while the other gentleman is looking very, very young. Because all they had to do was bring in their 50. And you had to bring in 150. <laughs> you can't make it up! So I laugh when I see comments like, ah, oh, 50 50, I don't mind it, I don't mind it. <laughs> you will soon mind it. It doesn't matter, even at 50 years old. You will mind it. You know what I'm waiting to see, right? I have yet to see a woman come with solutions. I've, I haven't seen it yet because I always say the solution, but I've never seen a woman come with that same solution. I would love to see a woman say, you know what I would do? So I don't, so my man can provide 100%. I will downgrade my life. Now, if a woman downgrades her life, meaning, you know what, the state we're living in, can we live somewhere like to where we can work the same places, but live somewhere a little cheaper? You know, what can we downgrade? I would love to see women saying, I'm going to downgrade. I would love to see proof of a woman saying they downgrade the whole 
entire life. There's women that's doing it, right? But not many. I'm talking about one of these women talking. I would love to see them say they transform their entire life and downgrade it so their man can be 100% provider, right? And what I mean by that is, okay, I cut off these expenses. You know, like them, them people that uh say, I saved, I did this so I can save money. So I don't spend much money on my rent. Something like that. You know, those people that are preparing to pay no bills. Oh, I did this so I don't pay much for electric or I did this, so I don't do this. I'm waiting to see that. I did this. I moved here, so I'm not paying it. We're not paying this much money. Because if you're doing that, then most men will say, oh, yeah, you know what? Oh, I like her. They're going to say that because you're doing whatever it takes to be able to live that soft life. But no, most women won't do that because, yeah, you got to go out there and get the bag. I need a man to go out there and get it. Instead of working ways out and, get, and providing solutions, they're just providing problems. Half of y'all is too. No shade. Folks who consume Young Miami's lyrics and admire them and listen to a lot of Sprinkle Sprinkle content and look to embody those behaviors in their life cannot see their actions as work because they believe that they are better than sex workers. And the content creators behind Sprinkle Sprinkle content exploit this horophobia by presenting the tactics that 304s use to keep themselves safe while conducting business transactions as traditional relationship advice. And the problem is we can't have a meaningful conversation about why sex work is real work and deserves labor protections, nor can we have a real conversation about how to find, curate, and nurture mutually respectful partnerships when folks on both sides of the equation are masking their desire to participate in sex work as desire for a mutually respectful partnership, because those are two very different things. It's very different, but the lines get blurred so much and most minor women don't realize that's what they're doing. They're pretty much telling men, I want to be a sex worker without doing it. And guys say it all the time, right? That's all these women are. It's wild. And who's leading them? Sprinkle, sprinkle, and women like Young Miami, right? And so many women. You see them posted all day long. Oh, that sprinkle, sprinkle has, is telling some good stuff. Yeah, she's telling you how to be a paid worker. Right. And that's pretty much what I mean. Call it what it is. Call it what it is. Maybe guys would be more accepting because the money you're stating you want, you want to be making six figures, which is hard nowadays. Now, if you all were just workers, right, or played it like that, guys would figure out how to get that coin up for you. And it would make more sense because they're pitting you in a place you should be. But no, that's not going to happen because they have to have their cake and eat it too. Right. They find that guy that can be that provider, man, that's most likely a sucker. Hashtag. Sprinkle Sprinkle's husband, right? They want to create more and more of him. It's sad. Huh? For what? Family violence. You would be arrested. You would have to go to court. Your job would be notified. And you would be pending a family domestic violence case until you go to court, hire an attorney, and plead your case. If I wanted to do that, that's right. But if I wanted to do that, I would have done it a long time ago. I say, hold up, wait a minute. Keep in mind that a month after this video was recorded, she did call the cops on Patty, have him arrested, and he is facing 20 years to life on the allegations that she has put up against him. Something ain't right. I think we have to get to a point where everyone realizes just like there are bad men that will take advantage of women, there are bad women that will take advantage of men. And the court system is set up to allow them to do that in extreme ways, in ways where the man is not innocent until proven guilty. He is guilty and everything in his life, his reputation, his career, his job, his children, his family, everything will be destroyed, whether she is telling the truth or not. Man, you heard that? She recorded a threat and then executed. Now he's on trial for 20 to life? Man, if this right here 
is not a reason for guys to want to get their passports, right? Think about the things that can be done in the West, right? They can just run in your house anytime and have a search warrant against you. Women can lie and have you facing 20 to life. Who has that kind of money to fight that kind of lawsuit, right? That's like me in my position I'm in right now, right? Imagine I have to fight a lawsuit for 20 to life. You know what kind of lawyers that guy needs? Man, that's sad, man. Like everything happening in the West is somewhat criminal. And the guys that can leave are leaving, man. Because how could you do that? She told the lie. I'm sure he's probably struggling to get this used in court too. She probably had things like this thrown out, right? It's all over TikTok and all over the place. I'm hoping it gets brought up. But man, the man is facing his life is in danger from a woman wanting to take control of him. And a bunch of you guys is probably watching me right now have gone through this in the past or are going through this. It's a sad, man. I'm tired of seeing stuff like this happen in the West. I'm tired of seeing women force accusing men for things, right? Oh, he did this to me. She threatened him with it too. I can say you did this and then went and did it. That's, that's nuts. It's not my fault. Run back. I don't care if you call me sport. I don't care if you call me bougie. Um, what else they call me stuck up? Um, a Whatever you want to call me, that's fine. Do you have money? Do you have funds? That's how they feel. Um, I know it's early. You normally don't get these back to back. But I have a question. And maybe someone can make this make sense. My timeline is flooded with something called Passport Bros. Oh, here we go again. Passport gentlemen, Passport whatever. Of either them having videos. I don't really know how I got here. Are people stitching the videos of them holding up their passport and then other people reacting to those stitches? All right, now you see the videos as a show, right, y'all? And so you're wondering why Passport Bros is across your timeline. Don't you understand guys are watching those same videos I just showed just now? And she's asking why she sees Passport Bros across her timeline. I think it's about time. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I don't care that you don't like black women. I don't care that you're going to a different country to find a woman. I wish you the best of luck. I do wish that you would stop making these videos. You see, they want silence. You get a little bit of hardship and you want to shut everything down. It doesn't work like that. It's still happening. Woman is still lying on men. Woman is still telling guys, I don't want to hear anything you're saying. Give me the money, right? Women are still doing so many different things to cause guys turmoil. You. Taking guys for everything. Getting divorced from guys for no reason. And you want guys to be quiet? You want guys to be silent? After all this time we've been quiet, we are supposed to shut up and wait for you to pull something, right? Let me, let me finish this video with her. Because the people who, because the majority of us don't give a f You sure I about that? I think you care. When people say they don't care and they physically say it, they care. And and, and there's a reason why you care, right? And I, I said it last video, but I'm, I'm going to shout it until they hear me at the top of the mountains, right? It proves you women are washed up in your ways. Your deceitful ways are over, right? What you've done, either you've wasted your life with another guy, which is your fault, right? Because really, when you, even when you're young, women are naturally supposed to date for marriage. Man, do you know? I got a video coming out tonight. It's probably out already. It's a Filipina. Let me tell you about this Filipina, right? Let me tell you what she did. You know what she had a nerve to say? When I was interviewing, I was interviewing her and her husband. She had a nerve to say. Not a nerve, but yeah, I feel like a nerve because that's what you would say. Oh, so nervy you doing that. She said, I stopped dating. We asked her, why did you stop dating? She said, because I didn't want to have he was single because she didn't want to be a 304. That's why she was single. <laughs> uh, you were single because you didn't want to like just have relations with guys like that? Right. Because That's they huge. Were, like, they were actually like, you know, I, 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 I'm talking to this like Italian guy, this half Spanish guy or Japanese guy. And then like, they're going to invite me out for dinner, coffee. And after that, they're just going to ask me like, oh, you want to mm -mm, miss something in private? I was like, oh, it's a no to me. So... I, she was a virgin. She said, I stopped dating because guys kept wanting to have sex. So I stopped dating. Now, that right there, right? Hold up. Hold, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That right there is a perfect answer. If you ask a woman, you know, and that, that's what guys want to hear. She said she stopped dating because she didn't want to have sex. I was like, mm. 
I, I'd rather be single than being in a relationship. And, wow. You know, just one. Oh, of hold up. Time. No, 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 no. That's crazy. She just said she would rather be single so she didn't have to give it up to random guys. Where do you hear a woman saying that? That's she wanted to be single, so she don't that's wild. And it's true. When guys are young, guys, oh, give me some, give me some. The pressure's on when you're young. She said, I'll just stop. She said, I want to get married, so I'll stop dating until someone's ready to marry. So I stopped. I didn't want to rack up bodies. She said that. I said, Whoa, what would you really? And she was dead serious. And she got with her husband. She got hated on. Who you think you are? Oh, the woman was going off on her. And what have you done? What have most of you done? Use yourself up. Oh. I can, I'm doing whatever I can because I'm young. Now, her, how old are you now? What, 38? Seem like you're close to my age. You want to get ran through some more, but you want somebody to take care of your problems. You're tired. You're working hard all your life. You're independent. Now, take care of me. I know I'm used up. This snatch ain't no good. It ain't sn The snatch ain't snatching no more. You know that's a problem. When the snatch ain't snatching, oh, so you got to get someone that's this wide. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, somebody got to run through them like this. I know it seemed, like, it seemed crazy, right? Like, this wide. Because they they wide and all outside. And you can't snatch a guy, but you want the guy to snatch you. Come on now. Is that right? Your JJ downstairs can't snatch a guy, but you want a guy to snatch you and pick you up and, and pay everything. The math ain't mathing. I'm telling y'all, it's not mathing. It shows some, Passport Bros proves that there's a problem. And now you have to answer that problem. But, oh, guys ain't stepping up to the plate like that because they all realize. This is the way. Passport Bros. Passport. No. There's definitely more to life than getting with you.